Good afternoon. I've come up to Dartmoor today and I'm going to set myself a bit of a challenge. Um, it's about 20 minutes before sunset and I popped up here quite late, only giving myself an hour to get from my house to the location and to shoot some images. I think I've just got enough time in the sun, um, probably got about 20 minutes to play with. Now I came up here um, a few months ago, just before Christmas, um, kind of around autumn really, or towards the end of it, to try and get um, some quite nice images. But I tried to do a vlog at the same time, which went totally wrong. So I thought I'd pop back up to the location this afternoon um, to get a picture of some of these trees. Now, it's a really, really nice um, area. You've got this lovely, um, evergreen, although it's not so green anymore, forest here. Um, I suppose full of pines and spruces and fir trees. Um, but you've also got these uh, silver birches, which are long past their best now, and they are looking quite brown and wintry. Um, the theme of this vlog is probably gonna be, um, trees aren't just for, um, for autumn, they're for winter as well. Now normally in winter I'm looking for dramatic skies, um, powerful storms, things like that, um, drama and texture in the clouds. Today, literally no clouds at all. It's been a really nice day. Um, but I'm gonna use a bit of that light just before it disappears. And I'm gonna try and get a nice image of a tree with some colors. Something that you normally see shot around, um, uh, probably around autumn. And I'm just gonna see what I can get to work today. Now, I might have to set up something here with the long lens simply because there's a huge amount of gauze here um, and I don't think I'm going to get very close to the trees. Uh, I can't see any clear pathways through at the moment. So I might set up here, get the long reach lens on um, and see what I can get from here. I'm just going to take a little walk along here, see what I can get to line up with these birches just while there's a bit of light on them still, see if I can get a nice single one with a bit of color and texture and um, see what I can uh, line it up against. Uh, the shot I'm gonna be aiming for, like I probably already said, is one of these trees isolated in the foreground or in the midground, but with the backdrop of that really nice evergreen forest back there to um, kind of give it a lot of detail in the background. So. I'm gonna find a location to shoot from now, um, see what I can set up, and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes when I've got my uh, composition all done. So I've got the shot set up now. I have been wandering around just a bit along this footpath. I've not been able to get any closer to them. So I have got the um, 70 to 200 mil on there on the full frame. And I've got a 1.4 extender on there as well. So I want as much reach as I can get. Um, the light is fading a bit now and some of the lightness is starting to go from the birch trees which is um, a bit annoying, um, but it looks quite nice because what it's done is it's just left a bit of golden color on the top of the tree in the, in the, uh, the trees in the background, um, which is just starting to fade now. So I'm just gonna crack off um, a last few images uh, in a minute before it totally disappears. Um, but it is giving me a nice contrast between the, the shadows um, on that, that background interest um, and the slightly lighted, uh, lightened bit on the top which is kind of just around here. Um, silver birches are obviously silverish colour anyway, very light trees, very light bark so in post that tree will come up perfectly fine anyway. Um, I'll be able to kind of do a lot to bring up the, the white um, on that and the highlights. There's no really sky in this image, I can boost a lot of stuff without messing up the overexposed sky or anything. 
Um, shooting wise, I'm actually zoomed in at 135 mil on that, so I probably could take off the 1.4 extender. Uh, but it, with this lens and that extender, I know it doesn't really affect the sharpness too much. So I'm going to leave it on. Um, and the only thing I don't like about this image is it is picking up quite a bit of this gauze in the foreground um, and it is quite out of focus. Uh, and there's not really any nice kind of texture or depth in it uh, for you to know what it is really. If these gauze flowers here were in a better angle and they came into the shot a bit nicer, I think they might work. The problem is the lower I go down, the, the more of the, the tree I lose. So I can't really do that. Um, I'll just fire off the shot now then. So um, I've got it on 135 mil F8. Um, that's my main subject. So I've got it bang on focus on the tree, the, the birch tree. So with that, I can easily um, just shoot at quite a low aperture on it. So F8, ISO 200 just to um, help the camera get a bit of a sharper image on it, bring the shutter speed up. Um, and what I've also done is there's a lot of shake in it. I've got the tripod all the way up, extended, and when I touch it, you can see it does move quite a bit. So the way to check whether you need to adjust your, your timer or if you need to use a remote cable is if you zoom into the image 10 times, and you knock that camera, you've got to kind of roughly count how long it is until it kind of goes dead stable. I probably need about three seconds. I'm just going to go for a, a 10 second timer on that. Far off the image now, uh, let it do its thing. It's counting down on the, the timer, I assume. Can't see the front of it, not the top of it. Let's try again, there you go. Yeah, so that's the image done. Um, probably going to try through a few different zooms on it now um i'm liking the way like i say the the texture builds up um on that background there and how the birch is kind of isolated from it with the different colors now this vlog was all about kind of seeing what you can do in a short time i've given myself an hour to get from the house to the location and to uh take all the images now Normally that would probably be enough for me because I generally shoot a lot of sunset uh, photography. So even from this point onwards, I've probably still got another 20 minutes to play, half an hour to play with the sunset. But when you're trying to use the light and you're coming out in the golden hour, the beginning of the golden hour to get somewhere, it's always gonna be really tricky. So it just shows, even if you've got half an hour to play with at the end of the day after work or something like that, you can get somewhere pull up somewhere get some nice images now i did take an image here roughly the same composition like i said before back in november and i'm going to put that up as well um, just because that had slightly different colors the, a bit more color on the birch it was autumn and i really like how that came out and you should be able to look at them just compare the differences between the image taken in autumn um, and the image taken now I had about the same amount of light when I took them and I only gave myself about the same amount of time to get up here and uh, do all the photography so I was rushing <laughs> quite a lot then as well um, but that's it really I mean there's a there's a few more trees that I have just taken some images of handheld just before it got too dark uh, while well, I could still do them handheld shots and um, yeah that's it I'll put these up hope you've enjoyed watching like I said it's a bit of a short one just a one location vlog um, but you know it's nice to get out of the house and do this if you like the the vlog please give it a thumbs up and if you've got any comments obviously drop them in the box below thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one in the future